Warning, the following video you're about to witness features extreme amounts of food consumption and was performed by a professional for entertainment purposes only. Please, for your sake and for those around you, do not attempt anything you see in this video. Please stay tuned and watch this safety reminder. To put it simply, the world of food challenges on YouTube is a daunting one filled with lots of stomach pain, acid reflux, and of course, extremely long bathroom trips. Which is why this isn't for the faint of heart. But. If you're anything like the idiot in the video you're about to witness, you push through the pain, the heartburn, the massive food babies, and the constipation for the pride and the glory of accomplishing what very few people have done on this earth before. This is the Unlimited Calorie Challenge. What is going on everybody, Eric the Electric coming back to you guys again, my electric empire with another video, but not just another video everybody, I'm coming back to you guys again with another calorie challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, we just celebrated a big milestone on this channel, we just hit 1 million subscribers. Everybody, that is huge, absolutely crazy. Almost as crazy as my hair. Sometimes you just gotta change things up. Everybody, we've done so many things this year. Actually, not just this year, but pretty much for the past six years since I started this channel back in 2013. And to celebrate this monumental occasion of reaching one million subscribers, I found it to be the perfect time for another calorie challenge. And just to clear something up before we move forward, I will not be eating one million calories in this video. I mean, maybe if I had like an entire month, but that's just not gonna happen, sorry. So here are the rules for the unlimited calorie challenge. Rule number one, I have 48 hours to complete this challenge. During the 48 hours, everything counts. That means food, beverages, spreads, and condiments. Rule number three is that after every thousand calories that I consume during this challenge, I'm going to be donating $10 to St. Jude Research Hospital because I've said it many, many times, everybody, I love doing food challenges and I love entertaining you all, but my passion is to spread good and positivity out into the world. Rule number four is for you watching this video, if you smile, laugh, cringe, cry, whatever emotion it is, I need you to smash that like button. I need you to do that because if this video gets 200,000 likes, I will eat an entire house. I actually won't eat an entire house. I don't actually think that's possible. So that's just it, Electric Empire. Without further ado, my friends and family, it's time to strap in, hold on tight, because this is about to be one crazy calorie challenge. Let's do this. Alrighty, Electric Empire, it is the day before the challenge is actually supposed to start, it is about 3.30 right now, September 19th. Two things we gotta take care of. We gotta shop for the food, and we gotta do a little pre-challenge weigh-in. Whenever I do a calorie challenge, you guys always request for a weigh-in before and after, so I'm gonna do my best to get it to you guys. So let's take care of that weigh-in. And always remember, the scale can't measure sexy. All right, everybody, we're here at Target. This is the first stop. For me, grocery-wise, day after the weigh-in and everything, got a nice long bike ride in today, got a good weightlifting session in. So now it's time to shop. Wilder Fuego. Ooh, wild. Sold. Definitely. Crunch of tires, what happened? Sure. Can't go wrong with Chips Ahoy, people. You know, if, um, my career as a food challenger slash competitive eater doesn't work out. I'm I'd always be like a male dancer or something. No? Can't forget our Nutella. <laughs> Team Skippy, checking in. All right, everybody, we have our first grocery haul. Now it's time to get to our next destination. Babe, your butt, your butt crack. <laughs> All right, everybody, so we're here at Sesame Donuts. If you guys remember my ultimate fast food cheat day, this is the big donut that was in that video. So hopefully we can get our hands on another big donut. The first meal we're gonna have is gonna be the breakfast for dinner. Since I'll be doing this first meal at like six, 30 p.m. to start off this calorie challenge. So we're actually gonna head right over to Krispy Kreme and get some more donuts. I'm gonna do four strawberry ice glaze with sprinkles, please. Four of your normal glazed donuts, please. Two birthday cake batter donuts, please. Two chocolate ice glaze with sprinkles, please. Oh, that was quick. Thanks a lot, man, appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, guys, so we have our donuts. Now, 
It's time to get to our next destination. It's breakfast time, baby. Awesome, thank you so much, appreciate it. How's it going, all right? Hi there, um, can I get three sausage McMuffins, please? And then I'm gonna get uh, three hash browns, please. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a small orange juice, please. Thank you so much, have a good day. All right, everybody, we have our McDonald's. Last destination before our first meal, we gotta hit Starbucks. Can I get one uh, venti caramel ribbon crunch, please, frappuccino? Do you guys still do the chocolate chip? The chips? double chocolate, yeah. Um, can I get one of those venti, please? Alrighty, guys, we have our Starbucks, our fast food, and our goodies. Now, it's time to get this home and get this party started. All right, everybody, we have our food. Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be insane. I hope you guys are ready for this one. Before we get started with this calorie adventure, I just wanna say I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day out there whenever you guys are watching this video. Everybody, we have a lot of food to get into. Let's get this all unwrapped and get this all presentable. Thank you, Mr. Electric. We also have some McDonald's right here because it, honestly, guys, it would be a calorie challenge for me without some McDonald's. Ms. Electric, can I have my frappuccinos? Thank you very much. And also have some orange juice as well because we gotta get our fruit in. I hope it has pulp. Shout out to everybody that likes pulp out there. Before I get into this though, folks, I gotta do a little wardrobe change. It was got a little chilly outside, but now I gotta slip into something a little bit more fitting. Okay, everybody, I just want to say I had to get this shirt when I saw it. Okay, if you're new to the channel, if you're just finding the channel, you will soon find out that I love ranch dressing, okay? And I find that ranch always has a place in pretty much every single challenge. I love ranch. I gotta have my goober, okay? If you're also new to the calorie challenges for me and you haven't seen them before, I always find it a way to, to use some spread. And this one is actually gonna be very nostalgic for me because as a kid, I basically took down a jar or half a jar of this before school every day. And um, yeah, it was my favorite spread. We also got some Nutella and, and peanut butter and a bunch of other goodness in, in future meals that we're gonna have in this video. I just gotta say everybody, I was laying awake a few weeks ago and I was thinking what I could possibly do for my million subscriber video. I had a lot of ideas coming to my head and you know what, I thought to myself, why not do an unlimited calorie challenge? So you know what, me being me, I went on Google and I searched to see if there were any unlimited calorie challenges out there. And the only one I found was for my boy, Travis S, who actually did an unlimited calorie cheat day. That's over on his channel. So I thought to myself, why not do an unlimited calorie challenge over the course of 48 hours? Now, guys, I haven't done a calorie challenge in over a year and a half. It's been a while. I'm probably going to be a little bit rusty, but we just did hit the million, and I wanted to get you guys a calorie challenge in. I also want you guys to know that I'm going to be trying a little bit of a new strategy with this one. If you guys have seen any of my calorie challenges, usually I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But for this one, I'm actually basically just going to have breakfast slash lunch and then dinner. So two meals, kind of make that first meal a little bit lighter on the calories and then just have a big calorie bomb as my last meal. And also gotta let you guys know one more time that after every thousand calories that I eat during this challenge, I'll be donating to St. Jude Research Hospital $10. So hopefully you guys can donate as well. It's cool doing these calorie challenges, these restaurant challenges, fast food challenges, but I've always wanted to use what I have and give as much good out to the world and generate as much positivity as possible. That's my whole goal with all this. I love doing this. So like I said, be sure to go check out the link. It'll be down below in that pinned comment. Last but not least, everybody, if you all like seeing calorie challenges, fast food challenges, restaurant challenges, supercharged mini challenges, whatever it is, go hit that subscribe button, support the channel. We're at a million right now, but sooner or later, we gotta get to that two million, then that five million. And also don't forget to follow me on my social media because they all knew about this before it actually happened. And just like that electric empire, we are ready to get this one underway. This calorie challenge is about to start, but before it does though, I gotta let you guys know the total calories of this first meal. Those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. And because we're gonna have a lot of protein, carbs, fat, sugar, and fiber, and all that good stuff in this challenge, I gotta let you guys know the total macros of this challenge. Those are gonna be listed like right there as well. Now, Electric Empire, without further ado, my friends and family, it's time for the Unlimited Calorie Challenge. Let's do this. Currently 6.16, 6.18. You guys can see it right there, Friday, September 20th. We're gonna go ahead and get the timer started right now, so the 48 hours officially begins. Before we get into this though, folks, what I need you guys to do right now is give the video a like. Why did I get Diet a &W? We'll save the regular soda for the later part of the challenge if I feel like drinking it. But I guess it's just a force of habit that I get diet soda. Anyways, as I was saying, you guys gotta give the video a like if you poop today. Now, here's the time where I have to let you guys know that even if you didn't poop today, you still gotta like the video. Why, you ask? Because I have a new mug, the I didn't poop today mug. So smash that like button, everybody. Do it for the empire. Now, 
I don't know what I want to start with first. I could start with this donut that is actually as big as my head. What we got to do first though, because I just really, 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 really want to get into it, are our pancakes. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get this calorie challenge started. Let's do this. I got to do it. That is fire. Whew. I love these things, everybody. Let's do this. Just in case we needed more sugar. Pancakes are down. I think because my elbow keeps hitting these frappuccinos, I gotta get into these frappuccinos right now. Let's actually go with the caramel crunch frappuccino. Just like a frappuccino to me. Ooh, brain freeze. All right, frappuccino's down. So far, everybody, it's going amazing. I'm done with the frappuccino for now. We're gonna move over to these eggs. I'm usually team scrambled, but I'm willing to make an exception this time. All right, everybody. Well, our Denny's is all done. That was delicious. Put that over there. All righty, guys. I got to say, you guys have been around the channel for a while. You guys know when it comes down to the hash brown game, I always, always, always love McDonald's hash browns. Let's do this. It's good, but you can always be made better, everybody. Always. Hash browns are all down. Now we got to get into our McMuffins. Just so you guys know, if you haven't tried maple syrup on a McMuffin yet, give it a shot. It's, it's delicious. All right, you guys, now time to finish off this frappuccino. Let's do this. Well, Starbucks frappuccinos are down. So far, so good, everybody. Now, oh, I think it's time to move over to our donuts. Before we do, though, I just want to say, look at the size comparison. Look at that size comparison, everybody. Normal donut, giant donut. Normal donut, giant donut. Let's do this. Always amazing every time. Every single time. Let's go. This is actually the perfect time for me to say fitness this whole donut in my mouth because I'm actually gonna fit this entire thing in my mouth. That's what she said. Yeah. Woo! Your dad would be so proud. My dad would be very proud, Mr. Electric. I should get a medal for that performance. Anyways, folks, that was awesome. We're gonna take this up a notch. If you don't know what Goober is, everybody, it's peanut butter and jelly, all within a jar. It's so good. You gotta try it sometime. And you have it right there. It's gonna taste like childhood, I'm pretty sure. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whew. W. Oh. W moment. Ladies and gentlemen, Whew. it's bringing me back to my childhood. The donut is simply a vessel for the peanut butter and jelly. Just a vessel. All right, guys. Well, two donuts left. It's actually technically like 14 because <laughs> this donut is massive. So far, so good. No idea how many calories I'm at, but I love breakfast. Now it's time to move over to our cake batter donuts, our birthday cake donuts. Alrighty, buddy. Well, Krispy Kreme donuts are down. I have that donut left, and I have two massive boxes of cereal plus this goober. I think it's time for us to get into the Captain Crunch. You guys know how I feel about cereal. Just look at it. It's glorious. Health and fitness. Kind of strange to find this in my cereal. Hopefully, it wasn't poisoned. Well, if I don't wake up to do my calorie challenge tomorrow, you guys know it's from the poisoned almond milk. Anyways, now it's time to get our cereal. It's always a party when you have Captain Crunch at the table. Now, it's time to get our cereal on. Alrighty guys, well, 
halfway through this box of Captain Crunch. I gotta say, out of all the cereals I've eaten in my day, you know, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is up there with some of the best. I like Captain Crunch, but I don't know, it's just, I gotta, I gotta be in the mood for the crunch. I gotta be in the mood for the captain. It's just one of those things. Depends on how much you want the roof of your mouth to be destroyed. It's just the way it goes, everybody. It's just the way it goes. Let's go. Whew. All right, guys, well, Captain Crunch is going well so far. I'm kind of regretting getting that massive donut, but sometimes my eyes are just literally bigger than my head. What can I say? Just the way. All right, guys, our Cap'n Crunch is down. Now I think it's time to move over to our Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Whew. Cinnamon Toast Crunch can be enjoyed for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whenever. And now you can enjoy. Let's go. You guys know I'm going to give that one a fuck. But honestly, I'm feeling a little bold today. So we're gonna make some adjustments, Mr. Lecture. Thank you. Sometimes, everybody, you just gotta spice up life. And why not spice up life with sugar? Just a little bit more, just a little dab. That's good crazy, let's do two. Beautiful! If you're new around here, I kinda go crazy sometimes. That's the way I like to do things. Good to know that this one's not poisoned. All right, everybody, while well, our cinnamon toast crunch is down, everything's been going amazing so far. Now, the only thing that's left for us in this battle of deliciousness is. Well, I should say R. The rest of this in this massive donut right here. So we're gonna get into this massive donut. Just look at that, everybody. Look at that fine specimen right there. And then look at my head and then look at the donut. I mean, guys, that's a big donut. There's no other way to attack this than just to eat it like a donut should be eaten. Let's do this. You guys already know. That is just everything I need in a donut right there. Let's get after this one. I don't know how you eat this. All right, everybody, well, half of our donut is down pretty much. I gotta say, this is off to a very sweet start, we'll put it that way. That's what you can do, though, to get your vessel more prepared for its voyage is to just simply stuff the vessel. If you haven't been able to tell yet, the donut is the vessel. I said that earlier, but just in case you didn't hear me. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I have like pounds of food inside of me right now, babe. <laughs> this is one of those things I just can't hold it in. Last part of the donut. Oh, there it goes. 10 calories. All right, guys, well, our donut is down. Now we just have one little spoonful of uber deliciousness and we're done with meal number one. Maybe two spoonfuls. Just like that, meal number one is complete. It is currently 7.23, still the same day. It took us exactly an basically an hour and four minutes to complete. Oh man, I'm gonna put the total calories consumed right there for you guys, or wherever I wanna put it over there. Total list of what we ate in this meal is gonna be right there as well. Also gonna be putting in this challenge the total donated to St. Jude Research Hospital. It's gonna be put right up there as well. <sighs> I gotta say, that was quite a breakfast. <sighs> Ooh, that was, uh, let's just say a very sugary one. <laughs> now, it is about 7.30 right now. I'm going to veg out, get some sleep, hydrate, and prepare for tomorrow. It's 
time to get this party started. All right, everybody, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Be quiet, I'm trying to vlog here. Bad news is, I feel like I'm about to give birth to a donut baby right now. Good news is, I'm starting to get my hunger back. Bike ride's all done. Now, it's time for meal number two. Alrighty guys, so it is 11-14, September 12th. We are just about 17 hours in to this calorie adventure. I gotta say, I'm feeling a lot better after hopping on my bike for two hours. Now everybody, it's time to head over to Taco Bell because I've never actually had Taco Bell breakfast before. And I've heard good things about it, but I actually don't normally eat before 4 to 5 p.m. on my normal days of eating anyways. If you guys wanna know more about my diet, whatever it is, feel free to check out the electrics down below because we talk more about that on there. After Taco Bell, we're gonna go to Five Guys, and then we are going to get some freshness up in this calorie adventure with some Subway. If you guys have had Taco Bell breakfast, comment down below with what you think of it. Because honestly, folks, I just don't picture breakfast in Taco Bell. That's why I'm like so curious. You guys ever like listen to other people's orders and like wonder what they're getting? I hope nobody does that when they're behind me. You guys wouldn't happen to still serve uh, your breakfast right now, would you? Uh, no, we don't. we done for the breakfast today. It's our 7 and 11. 11. Oh, I've just missed it. All right, no worries. In that case, can I get two Cool Ranch Doritos tacos, please? And then uh, I'm going to get two Chalupas. Let's just do the cheddar one, please. I think that is going to do it today. Awesome. Thanks so much. Have a good day, all right? All right, everybody. Now it's time to head over to Five Guys. Cinco Amigos. I'm only saying that because I have Taco Bell in So I'm going to get two bacon cheeseburgers, please. Two orders of fries, please. And that's going to do it. So much all righty ladies and gentlemen we have our five guys i just want to say five guys is great but that is pretty much the only place in fast food where you are going to spend forty dollars on two burgers and two orders of fries anyways no hate no hate just gotta give my personal opinion there now we gotta get over to subway it's time to eat fresh so i'm gonna go ahead and get one foot long with the turkey breast please and i'm also gonna get uh, another foot long too as well and that one's gonna be uh steak and cheese all right everybody we have our subway now it's time to get this home and get this one all present all right electric empire we have our goodies we have our fast food we're ready for meal number two i hope you guys are enjoying the video so far we have five guys we have taco bell we have subway we have some goodies in here I'm excited to get into this one, everybody. Even got some health and fitness. Well, actually, I got one large Diet Coke and one normal Coke, because, I mean, that kind of cancels it out, right? 12.31, September 21st, and we are 18 hours and 12 minutes into this calorie adventure. Now, everybody, let's get all this unwrapped and get this all presentable. We have our peanut butter Oreos. Why did I just turn this upside down? We have our peanut butter Oreos right there. You guys know I love my Oreos, but I really, really, really love peanut butter. Next on our train of deliciousness, we have Pop-Tarts Cupcakes. Cupcakes? I don't even know. No, the cupcake. <laughs> wow, I cannot get this right today. Cupcake flavored Pop-Tarts. Now this is the frosted confetti cupcake flavor, so hopefully that's gonna be good as well. And of course, everybody, we had to go and get some Nutella. Now this is a big jar of Nutella. That being said, I'm probably going to save half of this or a quarter of this or three quarters of this for tonight or tomorrow, whenever it is. This is actually 4,000 calories of Nutella and I just have some Pop-Tarts and Oreos. So really nothing to spread it on, but I'm gonna space this out. But regardless, we're gonna have some Nutella. I also have some almond milk to wash it down. Put that over here. Like I said earlier, guys, we're about 18 plus hours into the calorie challenge right now. I gotta say, having that you know window to digest all that food last night, now that it's a little past 12.30, it's giving me a lot more time to kind of get refreshed and get restarted. I got a big meal tonight, so I gotta get prepped for that. I gotta go to the gym after this. Oh, I gotta go to the gym after this. Anyways, that being said, folks, it's time for me to let you guys know the total calories for what we have in front of us right now. Those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys and of course I got to let you guys know the total macros of this those are gonna be listed like right there as well and just like that folks we're ready to get meal number two started without further ado folks this is meal number two this is lunch fest I think we're gonna get into our subway sandwich first all right everybody it's time to get into our subway sandwich first all right folks it's time to get this lunch fest started let's do this I gotta do it, everybody, because I love Subway as a kid. I get the fire from me. There's just something about this bread, this cheese, and this turkey that I love. Let's do this. One thing I need to be better at in this challenge, actually just pretty much all my videos in general, is cleaning up my table. I'm a pretty messy eater, what can I say? 
Let's just rage it. That was not a fart. I promise. The farts will probably be killing you after this. Alright. Let's go, people. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! W! Oh! W mode! Alright guys, well, our Subway sandwich is down. <laughs> so far, so good. It's been a while since I've done Taco Bell video, if you guys remember. I did the Taco Bell $100 menu challenge. I mean, it was, I mean, you guys liked it, but the day after that was, it's pretty rough. We have a toasted cheddar chalupa. It's muy, 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 muy sabroso. I think sabroso means tasty. One second, let me just confirm that. Hey Siri. What does tasty mean in Spanish? In Spanish, tasty is sabroso. Perfect, I was, I was right. I just, it, it, I just gotta do it sometimes, everybody. Big shout out to all my Spanish-speaking subscribers out there. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Woo! Now we have the fire sauce right here, which is pretty much fire. I mean, I gotta say it like that. A lot of people have their opinions about what's spicy and what's not spicy. I gotta tell you guys, if you're new to the channel, I'm a pretty big pansy when it comes to spicy stuff. Let me just tell you that right now. It is what it is. Let's do this. Pretty hot. All right, guys. Well, our tacos are down. So far, it's just been very very spicy but it's all good next i think we got to move over to our five guys burgers right here we're gonna get into our bacon burgers that is the bacon cheeseburger from five guys if you're new to the channel you just don't know what cranch is it's basically ranch and ketchup and now you can enjoy let's do this And why not, folks? Why not? Okay, you've been to Five Guys, you've likely done this to a burger. So I feel like I'm new to the party, but oh well, let's do it. We're gonna say it's good. <laughs> one of the things I don't like about Five Guys, other than the presentation, is the fact that they dump most of your fries at the bottom of the bag and they expect you to go on a scavenger hunt to find the fries. Come on, when I'm hungry and I want fries, I don't want to have to go search for them. Now you guys got to comment down below what's your favorite fast food fry. For me, it kind of changes, but for now I'm going to go with In-N-Out. Let's do this. Woo, at least I'm getting my complex carbs in. Hi guys, well, all of our fries are down. Basically all of our savory food is down. Well, no, actually our, our premiums are still here. I think we gotta get into these Pop-Tarts right, right now. <clears throat> oh, goodness gracious. Now that you probably lost your appetite. Actually, you know what? If you guys are watching this video and eating a meal, comment down below. I'm actually curious to see how many of you guys actually eat while you watch them. That is what we got right there, everybody. Oh my goodness gracious, there is nothing out there like opening up a fresh jar of Nutella. <sighs> Before we get into that Nutella though, we gotta try one of these Pop-Tarts. Let's do this. Honestly, just tastes like a Pop-Tart. That is a generous amount of Nutella. Let's do this. Woo! Alrighty guys, and comment down below what your favorite Pop-Tart flavor is. For me, after that Pop-Tart Overload Challenge, I swore that I wouldn't eat Pop-Tarts for a long time. And now uh, here I am, a few months later eating Pop-Tarts. <laughs> all right, well, all of the Pop-Tarts are down. I'm gonna tell it right here. Just like I said earlier, I'm gonna space that throughout the challenge. I gotta get more Whew, man, I need just take a gander at that, everybody. Just take a gander. Now, what kind of person are you? Are you a person that eats the cookie? Or are you weird like my girlfriend? Do you just eat the cream first? I'm a person that eats the cookie. Let's do this. Oh, 
optimal dunking time is, well, honestly at this point it doesn't even matter. It just tastes like sugar to me. And don't worry, I know you all would let me know down in the comments below if I didn't put Nutella on one of these Oreos. So I'm doing it. I gotta say, Oreos, to me right now, are delicious, but I always have a soft spot in my heart for the birthday cake Oreos. For whatever reason, I just I love those ones. Oh my goodness. I say this a lot, but that is exactly what I need right now. Oh, R.I.P. Roof of Eric's mouth. All right, everybody, well, we have our last of our Pringles right here. Let's finish this one off. All right, everybody, just like that, all of our Pringles are down. Like I said earlier, I'm going to save this for future meals throughout this challenge. I'm going to list the total calories consumed right there, and then also the meal right there as well. And also, total donated to St. Jude Research Hospital is going to be listed like right there. It is currently 1.51, still the same day. 19 and a half hours in. Now everyone, it's time to go to the gym. Whew. Believe it or not, I'm still alive. All right guys, so it is 3.34 right now, still September 21st, about 21 hours in, a little over 21 hours in. So while these calorie challenges are super fun for you guys to watch and my job is to entertain you, I also gotta be at least a little bit informative with these. I do need to let you guys know that while I do eat a large amount of calories in these calorie challenges, I try to get in the gym and I try to not burn off calories, burn off all the calories because there's really no way you can burn off thousands upon thousands of calories like that in such a short amount of time, but I try to get in the gym and lift heavy. I try to bench squat and deadlift so that I'm maximizing as much muscle gain as possible since I'm in such a big calorie surplus. I find that that's extremely, extremely important. I realize that a lot of you come here just for eating a lot of food and that's purely it. So a lot of you are gonna skip over this part of the video, but I feel like it's extremely important since you guys are watching this that you guys know that if you're gonna be eating a ton of calories, even if it's like a fifth of this or a 10th of this, just try to be active in some way, shape or form. It's time to prepare for meal number three. Much needed, also much needed. Thank you for calling Pizza Hut. Uh, this is gonna be for carryout, please. You guys have your new cheese at pizza. Can I get an order of the uh, pepperoni, please? Yeah, I'm gonna get a medium pepperoni pizza, please. Uh, I'm gonna get an order of cinnamon sticks, please. All right, everybody, so we have our Pizza Hut all ordered up now. So we'll go get it. All right, guys, we're here at KFC. It's time to get some chicken. Hi, right, I just wanted to get one um, eight piece bucket, please. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get one large Coke, please. Can I get one side of popcorn chicken, please? Uh, yeah, let's get some ranch on the side, please. Awesome, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Have a good one, all right? All right, everybody, we have our KFC, have our Pizza Hut. Now, it's time to get all this home and get this all presentable. Mm -hmm. All right, Electric Empire, we have our goods right here, our KFC, our Pizza Hut, all of our other deliciousness in these bags. And uh, we're ready to get meal number three started. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far. Also have my Nutella as well, which I'm probably gonna need. Anyways, enough about that, guys. Let's get everything unwrapped and get everything all presentable. You guys didn't listen to my talk earlier about digestion. It's extremely important. Acid reflux also is a bummer with calorie challenges, so this tends to help out with that. Bottoms up. We have Cheez-It and we have Pizza Hut. They've combined forces, everyone. They've combined forces to create something that's hopefully gonna be legendary. Ooh. Oh, there goes our marinara sauce. Oh my gosh, I have marinara sauce on my floor. <sighs> I'm just gonna turn like that never happened. And last, but certainly not least, everybody, we have our pepperoni pizza right there. That looks absolutely beautiful, my friends. I like the theme of, of naming our meals for calorie challenges from now on. I was like, you know what? This could be the dinner of winners. Except that just doesn't really sound right either. I think this should be 
the winter dinner. Anyways, folks, I thought I'd let you know. It is 6.31 right now, and now I'm not trying to hide my Tinder notifications because I don't go on Tinder anymore, but I do have notifications. I just don't want you guys to see them. We are officially 24 hours in, and uh, I'm ready to get this party started once more. Before we get started with this meal, though, everybody, I gotta let you guys know if you guys wanna see challenges before they get published and before they go live, you guys can follow me on my Instagram page. It's Eric the Electric. I'll have a direct link to that down below in the description. You guys can click that, follow me, and I love to interact with you guys, too. Sometimes, I put you guys in my videos on my Instagram. So if you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And just like that, everyone, we are ready to get meal number three started. That means I gotta let you guys know the total calories of what we have in front of us. Those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. And total macros as well, protein, carbs, fat. Those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. Without further ado, Electric Empire, this is the winner dinner. Let's do this. I'm gonna start with the thing I'm most curious about. I'm gonna start with this Cheez-It pizza right here, this stuffed Cheez-It pizza. Only in 2019 will you find pizza stuffed inside of a Cheez-It. Let's do this. Wow. I'm doing it. That is a W. Oh, W moment. Pizza Hut definitely did it right here. Let's do this. You guys know, you can always rancherize that marinara sauce. We call it ranchera. How many of you all dip your pizza in marinara sauce and ranch? That's with it. Hidden Valley is my ranch of choice. I don't care what anybody says. Can't go wrong with Hidden Valley. Yeah, this is the last of the pizza. You got it my sight. Did I ever let you guys know though, my loyal subscribers and new subscribers, you stole a pizza in my heart. That's only like the 80th time I've ever used that joke. All right guys, well all of our pizza and Cheez-Its are down. This is the perfect time to get into some sweetness right here. If you guys are new to the channel, if you know my techniques behind food challenges, you'll know that flavor fatigue is a real, very, very real thing. Yeah, avoiding the flavor fatigue is crucial, not just in normal challenges, but especially crucial in calorie challenges. All right, guys, well, I did not bring a spoon to the party. Oh. Yeah, this will be me tomorrow morning. Oh, yes. Whew. <laughs> oh, man. Perfectly executed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There we go. You just... You just, all you gotta do is just dip, and you are good to go. Why even use a spoon? Triple fire, everyone, woo! Icing, Nutella, let's go. Let's do it. Oh my goodness gracious. W, oh, W moment, woo! Wow. All right, everybody, well, I think what we're gonna do, since I don't have a plate and I'm way too lazy to get up and get a plate, is we're gonna use this for the plate and uh, just so I don't forget about the Nutella, we're going to have that be our sweet side and this will be our savory side. But now, I think it's time to get into our popcorn chicken. You guys know me, you guys know I love popcorn chicken, but I have to say, all time favorite thing at KFC, as a kid, I love their Famous Bowls. Their Famous Bowls are absolutely amazing. And now, it is time to party with some KFC. Let's do this. Good thing we're getting our protein in. All right guys, well all of our popcorn chicken is down. Now I think it's only fitting since we're on that chicken game is to head on over to our chicken bucket. Let's do this. Woo! No matter what I say or do, there's always that one person down below in the comments that's like, Eric, there's still me on those boats. Ladies and gentlemen, don't be that person. Even though there's gonna be thousands of people being that person. All right, everybody, well, I think it's time to move over to these Chips Ahoy. Now, everyone, when it comes down to Chips Ahoy, you are either a chewy cookie person or you're a team crispy cookie person. For me, I'm 
and always, always Team Chewy. Oh my goodness, and I realize that these are probably not gonna be the Chewy ones. It's okay though. That is everything you need right there. Let's do this. There's so many cookies. I feel like a cookie monster right now. Surprised I actually haven't done this yet. Icing, cookie, that's the worst that could happen, right? Oh. All right guys, well, all of our Nutella for this meal and our cookies are down. All I really feel right now is hot. Very, 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 very hot. Thank goodness we're sorted right now. Sour Patch Kids watermelon are down. Now it looks like we have our Hostess coffee cakes, Takis, Reese's, Twix, and some Hershey's left. We're gonna get into the cinnamon streusel coffee cakes next. Now, the only bad part about these is wrapping all of them. Oh my gosh. Whew. That one's gonna get a triple fire for being just what I need right now. Again, just look at it. All right, we got some classic American candy left. We got some Twix because it's in tonight's mix. I'm gonna try out these Takis right here because honestly, I said I'd try them, so there we go. Mmm. Wow, a little spicy, but not bad. These Takis are a lot spicier than I expected them to be. I'm just glad these aren't like ghost pepper chips or anything like that. No, that would be horrible, absolutely horrible, absolutely horrible. Now this is what you gotta do everybody. Takis and ranch, let's go. Guys, I feel pretty terrible, I'm not gonna lie. Like, on a scale of one to 10, I'm at like an eight and a half. Tomorrow morning, I'll be at like pretty close to a 10. One more left. There we go, everybody. Let's finish this off. All right, everybody, it is currently 7.56, still the same day, 25 hours in. Total calories for everything consumed are gonna be listed like right there for you guys, and the total meal, whatever I just ate, it's gonna be listed like right there. Also, total amount donated to St. Jude Research Hospital is gonna be listed like right there. It's almost eight o'clock, it's time for me to get some sleep and prepare for tomorrow. 10.30, a few hours later, 28 hours in. Oh, it's not always glorious. Don't worry, there's no baby due anytime soon. Oh, man. Oh. Yep, I definitely shouldn't have eaten those Takis last night. We are not gonna talk about how that just went. All right guys, well, it is currently 10.50 right now, 40 hours and 31 minutes in. Right now, we're going to head over to Jack in the Box and then we're going to go to In-N-Out because I just need something soft right now. So now we're gonna head over to Jack in the Box. Hi there, um, can I get one supreme croissant sandwich, please? And then the ultimate breakfast sandwich, please? Two cheesecakes, please? Thank you. And only someone like me would be ordering cheesecake at 10.45 in the morning. Thanks, have a good one, all right, take care. All right, everybody, we have our Jack in the Box now Time to move on to our next destination, which is In-N-Out. What's up, man? How are you? I'm so glad you started for today. Uh, I'm gonna get two three by threes, three okay. by threes, please. I'm gonna get one medium coke, please. Okay. That's gonna be it. Oh, there are no words to describe how I feel right now. Awesome. Take care. All right. Thank you. All right, everybody. We have our In-N-Out. We have our Jack in the Box now. It's time to get this home and get this all presentable. Party Electric Empire. We have our In-N-Out Jack in the Box and. Uh, 
our other goodies in this bag over here. I uh, also have the Nutella from yesterday slash last night over there as well. Currently 11.50 right now, Sunday, September 22nd, 41 hours and a half in. And uh, yeah, let's just get everything unwrapped and let's get started with this because time is running out here. Everybody, it's very important right now, especially that uh, we get our calories, I guess, easy calories, just to put it that way. So I got some trail mix right there. Here we go, everybody. This is the three by three right here from In-N-Out. Now we've had a lot of burgers in this video. We've had a lot of pretty much everything in this video, but I need you guys to comment down below with what your favorite burger place is out there. I also got some Cheetos as well, and I was originally gonna have these for this this meal right here, but honestly, everybody, just because the roof of my mouth is basically about to bleed right now, I'm not gonna do this entire bag. I think I have a creative way to incorporate these into this challenge. Like always, folks, I'm gonna list the total calories for this meal right there for you guys, and also the total macros of this meal right here are gonna be listed like right there as well for all of you. Yeah, honestly, everybody, I'm uh, feeling pretty reckless, so we're gonna call this the Reckless breakfast. All right, guys, so we have our toaster strudel all prepared and ready to go. I didn't put any frosting on them because I got something better. I got some Nutella. Now that, my friends, is what I think we should start with first. Whew, let's do this. Tastes like breakfast. You guys know what they say. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. All right, guys, well, our Jack in the Box is down. Whew. All right, I think it's time for us to move over to these toaster strudels right here. I've always been a toaster strudel guy. Now, you guys got to comment down below with what kind of person you are. Are you a Pop-Tart fan or are you a toaster strudel fan? The way I see it, everybody, is toaster strudel just, just tastes a lot better. What can I say? All right, guys, icing and Nutella, because why not? Woo, that is a W! Oh, W moment! All right, guys, well, our toaster strudel is down, with the exception of 0.2 calories of bacon. I would say the Nutella is down. I think we gotta move on to our in and outs, because that is what it's all about. These are Flamin' Hot Puffs. They looked very delicious when I was shopping for food for this challenge, and uh, now they don't look so delicious, but because I have them in a thumbnail, I'm going to put them on something. If you ever want to innovate quickly, just gotta incorporate some chips into the mix. And there you have it, folks. Cheetos and in and out have joined forces. Now, let's see if this is going to deliver. Let's do this, everyone. Boom. That gets him EWW. All right, guys. Well, one three by three is down. Now we got some blasted bold buffalo sauce, which actually isn't too spicy, and it's going to give us some additional calories. So we just sprinkle it on, just like so. Let's do this. All right, guys, well, our in and out is down. Oh my gosh, all this unnecessary packaging. Oh, America, come on. And here we Now who out there is Team Little Debbie versus Team Hostess? Comment down below. All right, guys, well, our nutty bars are all down. I think it's time to move over to our New York style, hold on, let me just say New York style cheesecake right here. Only reason I'm saying New York style is because it's cheesecake from Jack in the Box. I'm just gonna consider it Jack in the Box style. And there you have it, everybody. Oh, there it goes. Five calories. Boom. Raisins? If you guys are like me, when you eat trail mix, you just pick out all the raisins, it's like a barrier to your deliciousness. It's filth. Yeah. 
Oh, I feel like a, yeah, I think I actually already told you guys how I feel right now. But I love you guys and we're gonna pursue this one. Let's do this. All I taste is nuts right now. So many nuts. And just like that, everybody, our trail mix is down. Total calories for everything are gonna be listed like, right? There for you guys, total macros right there. And also the total donated to St. Jude Research Hospital is gonna be listed like, right? There as well. Oh my gosh. So it's 12.42, 42 hours in and 23 minutes. I'm going to attempt to go to the gym right now. I don't think that's gonna work out too well. Ooh, that one was rough. 2.13 right now after the gym. I got to do some cardio. I basically just scrapped the weights after I did some some squats and just went into the cardio room and basically just sat on the bike for about another half hour, 45 minutes and got some water out of me. We still have a few hours left in this calorie challenge. You know, I'm gonna get a lot of questions from you guys asking me, you know, Eric, why? Why are you doing just a 48 hour challenge? And the answer to me is, is pretty simple. If you guys watched the 100K last year, you guys saw that about halfway through the video, almost went to the hospital. I uh, actually woke up in the middle of the night with really severe heart palpitations and I felt like my stomach was literally about to explode. Honestly, everybody, you know, it's it's great. You guys are watching this for, for entertainment and everything. I love that you guys support me, but I also have to watch out for myself and I have to keep, you know, my, my uh, you know, my health as my main priority. Like I said, I am done with the gym and now it's time to head to the store for the last essentials run of this video. You guys know it's the million subscriber video. I gotta get some cake. Mm -hmm. Game time. Panda time. One order of chow mein, please, to go. The same size with orange chicken, please. Mm -hmm. I had to finish off with some Dairy Queen. Um, I'm gonna get a medium Oreo blizzard, please. And then a Snickerdoodle blizzard, please. Snickerdoodle. Alrighty, guys, we have our Dairy Queen. Now it's time to get this home and get this one all presentable. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, everybody, it's time to assemble our cake. I hope this is gluten free. And there you go, everybody. That is our cake for this final meal. And uh, now we can light our cake and I can say thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all that you guys have done for me over the years. I can remember starting this channel back in 2013 and I never, ever, ever, ever would have imagined it would have got to the point that it's at today. There's always one. It is 5.15 right now. There are currently 46 hours and 56 minutes into this. Before we get into the swing of things though, everybody, I am going to change into something probably gonna need because we have some cold items for this challenge, so go ahead and do that right now. Shout out to my girlfriend for everything she's done and for being such a positive influence in my life. This is her company, Girl Hustle. Thought I would show some support. All right guys, so we have some Velveeta cheese because I'm going to be making something with an express and I needed some salt and some more calories. The rest of our M&Ms are here. The rest of our peanut butter. We have officially 58 minutes left. Total calories for this meal are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. And total macros, that means protein, carbs, and fat. Those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. And just like that, everybody, we are ready to start the final meal. This is the final showdown. We're gonna need some of the power of Goku for this challenge for the rest of this challenge, I should say. I think we have to start with our Panda Express first. Let's do this. Tastes like chum. <clears throat> what you can do though, everybody is really jazz up your chow mein like so with some good old cheese. I was debating on what to call this, you know, you could call it chow mein and cheese, or you could call it, uh, that looks, <laughs> oh, that looks so unappetizing. <laughs> It's not coming out the way that I want it to come out. Or you can call it Mac and, Mac and Maine. 
That's pretty cringe. I don't know, but I was trying to come up with a new idea, but it's just not working out the way that I wanted it to. Whatever, I tried. I'm just gonna go with Mac and Main. It sounds way better. I feel like I'm Honey Boo Boo right now. Fun fact, that was my first time trying Velveeta cheese. Yeah, it's gonna be my last time trying it. All right, guys, well, the Pan Express is down. Hold on, one second. Try to get my fork in. Oh, this is great. You have a charming way with words. Thank you, Panda Express. Next, we're moving over to the Snickerdoodle Blizzard right here. Let's do this. All right, everybody. Well, first Blizzard is down. Now it is time to get into our massive cake. I can't even talk. Things I do for milestones, everybody. You know what? This has me thinking. People have been telling me to watch my calories more. I'm watching. It never really does anything. Let's do this. That is a rich cake, but everybody, that is gonna get a W. Oh, W moment right now because honestly, everybody, that is exactly what I need. By the way, kids, don't eat with a knife. Oh, wow. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the best cake topping ever. Brownies. I basically feel right now like the kid from Matilda, except this is not a chocolate cake. Yeah, after some of our M&Ms. Ooh, yum, Oreos. And now we have ice cream cake. Oh, brain freeze. All right, everybody, well, we have half of our cake left. And I think it's time for us to move over to our pint of Ben & Jerry's now. All right, you guys, Ben & Jerry's has always delivered with good flavors. I've always liked this flavor. Oh, we still have some more Oreo blizzard left. One second. Okay, we're good. As I was saying, out of the swirl. It can be made better with some good old peanut butter. You guys know that was fire. Let's go. Ben Jerry's is all down. <clears throat> well, everybody, if you made it this far in the video, what I need you guys to do though, if you're still with the flow of the video, is comment. Since I love you guys, comment love. 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 What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Okay. Alright guys, well. Oh. <laughs> I'm not actually gonna do it. Cheers. Alright guys, well we have one piece of the cake left. Let's see where we're at. We have technically 15 minutes left on the clock. I gotta finish strong. Ooh. Just like that, everybody, that has been another video in another crazy calorie challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We ended up finishing under 48 hours. We're just gonna call it there. Total calories consumed are going to be listed like right there for you guys. Total macros consumed are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. And also because this is about charity as well, donations to St. Jude Research Hospital, everything is welcome. I'll be donating however much I consume, probably did over 60,000. I also have a little post challenge weigh in to show you guys, so I'll be showing you guys that right now. All right, guys, so that is the damage. Woo, 202 pounds. <sighs> if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell, people. Let's get to 5 million and then to 10 million. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You guys know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody.